In this video, we talk about switch interface troubleshooting. You are assigned to troubleshoot the link issue between the PC and the Cisco switch or the link between the two Cisco switches. What should you check? As a network engineer, you can easily tell you should check the network cable or the interface for the speed or doublet settings the bad news is you may have to go to the end user's PC to troubleshoot the issue. However, the good news is you can check everything on a Cisco switch if you know the interface that's connect to the PC or the Cisco switch with only one single command. Show interface and then you provide the name of the interface. You can follow the instruction to find that interface in the video, how to find the switch port connected to a PC. Let's look at this table. It lists common status of a switch interface. As you know, the interface status is a combination of the line status and the protocol status. Line status refers to layer 1 status, which is the physical layer or simply the status of the physical connection. Protocol status refers to layer 2 status, which is the data link layer. The table also shows you a typical root cause for each status. For example, when the line status is administratively down and the protocol status is down, which means the interface is disabled. The typical root cause for this is the shutdown command is configured on the interface. So you can use this table to find out why an interface is not working properly. Let's use the table to figure out the root cause of the issue. In the first scenario, you logged in to Cisco Skills ASW1 and you issue the command show interface GI01 and you see the interface is down and the live protocol is down. So from the table, the root cause of the issue could be no cable connected to the interface GI01 or bad cable connected or wrong cable pinouts connected or the speed mismatch which means the speed of the interface GI01 and the neighbor ring devices mismatch, or the neighbor ring devices power off, or the interface of the neighbor ring device shut down, or the interface of the neighbor ring device has an error disable. In this case, the link between the switch ASW1 and DSW3 is down. So you logged into the switch Cisco skills ASW1 and you issue the command show interface G01 and you see the interface is down and live protocol is down, the interface status is not connected. You then logged into Cisco skills DSW3 and issue the command show interface GI01 and you also see that the Interface is down, live protocol is down, and the interface status is not connected. Now, when you look into the detail, you will see that the speed for the interface G01 on ASW1 is 100 megabit per second, but the speed for the interface GI01 on the switch DSW3 is 1000 megabit per second. In this case, speed mismatch causing the line down. In this case, you logged in to Cisco Skills DSW3 and you issue the command show interface GI01 and you see the interface is administratively down and the line protocol is down and the interface status is disabled. So from the table, you can figure out that the shutdown command is configured on the interface. The PC user complained that his application started running so slow yesterday. 
you knew that the ASW1 switch was replaced yesterday. Therefore, you logged in to Cisco Skill ASW1 via the console and checked the interface Z01. And you saw the interface is up, the live protocol is up, and the interface status is connected. You were trying to find out why it was so slow. Then this message came up and you can conclude that the duplex mismatch between the interface G01 on switch ASW1 and the interface G01 on the switch DSW3. So in this case, it was the duplex mismatch which caused the PC's application running so slow. And you knew that because you logged in via the console. But what happens if you do not log into the switch via the console? Is there any other ways to find out? The show interface commands give you the list of counters in this table. In a normal operation, all the counters should be equal to zero. If a counter is greater than zero, then you can use this table to find out the cause of the issues. From the same show interface G01 command that you issue on Cisco Skills ASW1, if you scroll down, you will see that it has four LED collision. From the table, LED collisions often point to a duplex mismatch. Let's log into Cisco Skills DSW3 and issue the command show interface G01 and you see that it has four CRC error from the table. CRC error can be caused by collisions due to cable issue or duplex mismatch.